Hey guys, welcome over here, and welcome to my review for Season 6 finale of my old boy, Friendship is Magic. So yeah, this two-parter was better than I expected. <laughs> like, I don't know why I thought I would hate this two-parter, but it blew me away. It really did. There's a lot to get into. And there's not enough time in the day. <laughs> so let's, let's just look over the whole episode, shall we? So, this episode, spoiler warnings if you haven't seen the episode for whatever reason, but you know, I have to, I have to put that out there, you know, that's, that's a possibility. Yeah. So, oops. oh, it starts off with the so the two part basically shows the progress um, progression that Star has made since the finale of season five. And and while Starlight, you know this was her, technically her episode, you know, the finale was like, all to highlight her, she was not the best character. I mean, nothing wrong with her, she didn't do anything wrong. She did, did, did do one thing I was a little pissed off about, but I'll talk about that in a second. But the stars... Of this episode, of this two part, were Discord and Trixie. Wow. <laughs> Hasbro? I applaud you. I don't know why I applauded, weirdly. Fuck. Yeah. Well done. You fucking did it. This two-par made me want to see Trixie again. Let's recall, oh, this is the same Trixie I pretty much told her to fuck off, to fuck off and die when she should put up earlier in the season. Now I want to see more of her, especially if they're gonna, if they're gonna, you know, have her be, he, you know, in like, that's where I'm looking for. Combining, I guess, with Discord. I want to say pairing because that would sound like I'm trying to start a ship. I'm not. I'm not. It's very clear what they're going with the Discord. It's very clear why ship Hasbro are on. And I, again, I will get to that in a second. But um, yeah, if, if I would like to see an episode featuring Trixie and Discord as you know. The main stars, or the main, like, the main focus, I guess. Am I the only one? Because I feel like I'm not. But they were very. They play off each other fantastically while they were both oh, very good. But, you know, and Thorax, we all knew who, what was going to happen. As soon as we all saw the, the summary, we all knew who this great threat to Equestria returning was. We all knew it was the Changelings. Of course it's the fucking Changelings. The fact that, hmm, this is this Changeling. He appeared in the premiere. He appeared in an episode where he, he had turned against his own kind. And now, oh, what a surprise. It's the Changelings. They're back. Back their thing again. Only for this two part, but we'll get into that in a second again. Like I said, so much to get into. But yeah, Thorax, we all knew as soon as Thorax, as soon as we all knew, I think we all knew from the moment we saw Thorax in the background in the premiere, we all knew who the changelings were coming back this season. 
No one can tell me that they didn't see the Changelings were coming back. I think we all knew they were coming back eventually, but once we saw Thorax in the premiere, her, her this season, there was no fucking question. There was no question. No. None. So yeah. Thorax. He needed to be there. Um... If I had to make one little nitpick, is that Starlight going to get the scores help when it was the first time they met on on, on camera? Can't assume what's happened off camera because we don't fucking see that. But yeah, this was the first time they met on camera. All of a sudden, oh yeah. She goes to him for help. And while it makes sense, you know, this girl is friends with me in six and main he and we saw how determined he was to help Fluttershy he above all else. But I just feel like there should have been some episode where Discord and Starlight met. I mean it only occurred to me when I was watching this, I was like, if they were going to set this up, why not put Starlight in dungeons in Discord? Why not? I mean, I get, you know, an episode where the male characters are focus is probably something we may never get again. <laughs> let's, let's, just be, let's throw that out there. Let's be honest here. They, we, that's, that's, that's out there. Her. I mean, even if she doesn't play, stay and play with Spike, Big Mac, and Discord, she could have gone with them in six. So why was she absent from that episode? This is more of a, a down for that episode than it is for the finale. It just would have made sense to have Starlight meet Discord beforehand so we, he could have that to plan because we were all expecting Sunburst and, like, Vi- No. Old. Old. Oh, I mean, we knew Trixie was going to be there and Thorax had to be there. But, I mean, would it have been so hard for Hasbro to include an episode or just have a part of it. I mean, you could just have her, her meet this or, or like, hey, hey, main six, hey, oh, Starlight, this is Discord. Spirit, hey, Oz, Discord, Starlight. Done. Hmm. Hmm. Done. That's that's all you needed to do. Put that in the episode. Oh, not not in the finale. I'm talking Dungeons and uh, Discord. You put that in the episode. No problem. As it is, that's the first time they've ever met, and all of a sudden she's asking him for help. That seems like she's being a bit like demanding of Discord. You know? Am I the only one who feels that? Like, I mean, this is nothing against the finale. The finale was amazing. But, it, it just seemed weird that she's out of nowhere asks Discord for help. I get that he's friends with the main six and mainly Flourishai, but it would have been, you know, it would have made more sense if she had met him beforehand. I'm like, I, I mean, maybe I'm wrong in that situation. And, um,. Let's talk about Discord because he was on form in this episode. He, I mean, his wacky shenanigans that he's all he's pulling whenever he does show. Well, up mixed with his playing off of Trixie, he the way he he play off each other was for, and and. and and his determination 
in rescuing Fluttershy was interesting. I mean, uh, I know that's actually a semi-popular ship in the fandom is uh, Flutter Court, the uh, ship of Flutter in Discord. I think it's getting closer to becoming canon, I feel. <laughs> Which, uh, it looks like they're really pushing it. Now, I'm not going to say for sure because I'm not a writer on the show. Oh. Oh. And I'm not going to tell... I don't want to get anyone's hopes up. But it, it's looking good. It is. It is. So let's be honest here. But yeah. Yeah. This court unbelievable in this episode. Good. But let's not discount... Yeah, her character, hers, hers. Hexy was very entertaining and throughout the whole, whole, whole ordeal. Oh, well, well, like I said, this made me want to see her again, which is a far cry from her previous appearances. So, good work, Casper. Um, let's talk a bit about what happened at the end. So, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, again, spoilers, if you, for some reason, haven't seen the episode, I've relatively spoiled it anyway. Hey, um, yeah, so, at the end, so, X and Starlayer, uh, Trixie and Disco, heard of been capture, heard in other locations, and, and then Chrysalis is sucking the love out of um, Florax that he's gotten from being in the Crystal Empire and stuff like that. Eh. At Starlight, then for some reason, I don't know what gave her the idea that this would work, but credit to her, she, she somehow knew what she was doing. Interestingly enough, so she tells Thorax to give Chrysalis the look of instead of having it forcefully taken, give it willingly. <clears throat> Thorax does, he blows Chrysalis away he, onto like a big chair thing. I don't know, I, I guess that was like her throne. I don't know. I don't know what it was. It looked like a seat. And she was sitting on it at one point, so... I, I don't know. I can't really tell you, have to be honest. But yeah. That's blue. So, oh, she blue. Oh, hey. And Thorax transforms into. I don't even know what to call it. I mean, our, at the end, Celestia still says they're ch still called changelings, so I'm guessing this is just what the changelings should look like. Far cry from uh, their uh, normal look. It, the bright colors. Are interesting, and the fact that he became king. Okay, interesting. So yeah, huh? upon seeing what uh, giving love did to Thorax, all the archer things to who at 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 Chrysus is overwhelmed in a massive explosion, and to be honest. For a moment, I thought she might be dead. But, no, she didn't. No, I... Hey, and we almost saw redemption, which I was just... Nah. But thank goodness, Chrysalis batted the uh, Starlight's hoof away and ran off. Why did she run off instead of fly? Because we know she can do that? I don't know. Just a, just a, an idea. 
should someone, should they send guards to just keep an eye out? Because if if she ran, here's just an idea. She didn't go very far. She'll be back. Don't be stupid, okay? This is let's just be honest here. We both, we all know, we all know, we all know she's gonna be back. Heck, she wasn't reformed. She didn't change into um. She didn't uh, change into a colorful. Whatever colorful changing, I guess. Um, but yeah, she ran off. She didn't fly off. She ran off. There is, I mean, I don't know. Maybe she's super fast and she did go f far away. But I'm just saying, she probably didn't. Now, let's just be honest here. She probably didn't. So you know, that's a gonna be a thing. <sighs> yeah, um, overall, this episode was very good. Um, it was interesting to see someone other than Main Six actually, he's, he be the hero who's for once. I mean, like, the only kind of other instance was actually the other change on the episode. Oh, a can lot wedding thing where it was shining armor and cane and who blew them all away with her her love magic heck think at the end but um yeah oh well, speaking of which princesses seriously just remove them from the episode from the series just remove them like I mean except for Princess Luna okay she's only showing up to Help ponies in their dreams. The princesses do nothing. And shouldn't even bother. They shouldn't even bother. Or let's just remove them from the... Let's just say they're gone. And put Twilight in charge. Because she's the only one who does anything. Ever. Or, seriously. Just put her and the main six and Starlight in charge. And... Because at least then... The leaders will look competent. Unlike Hink in this series, where, where the three, up until Twilight's form, uh, trend, Ascension, the three original princesses all look like idiots who can't do who jack shit. Except, have to give exposition, send ponies on dangerous missions, and perf more alicorns. Anyway, that's not the point. The point is, this was a good finale. Hey. Hey. And as I did with the premiere, I'm marking the finale out 20 because it's two episodes it was reviewed at the same time. And I'm going with. Ooh. Eighteen and a half out of twenty. He, small little nip, x, x are the only thing. And I mean, like, aside from getting a little fan pattering and maybe having in those princesses do ooh, something other than be absolutely fucking useless, maybe this would be a twenty out yeah, of twenty, but. Eighteen and a half out of twenty. It's a it's a good score. I don't remember why I gave it from there. I don't think I gave it a good review. Did I give it? I think I gave fifteen. Why do I feel like I gave it fifteen? Did I give it fifteen? I don't know. You can go back and watch the premiere review. Ooh, this gets a the finale though gets an eight and a and a half out of of twenty. And yeah, this is the end of season six.
reviews. Uh, I'll be back, back to do reviews for past episodes and the movies. Is oh god, the movies. No, don't make me do them. Mm, okay, I have to do them. I mean, it's only fair. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'm um, enjoy it. And until next time, I hope you all have a very, very nice day. Peace.